everyone, my name's Kelvin and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial for Procreate. So in today's video, I've got a really fun project for you guys. We're just gonna paint this starry night sky with these shooting stars and then these pine trees in the foreground. And this is a project suitable for beginners or advanced painters. Uh, and the end result is great for a frame, a greeting card, or anything like that. Now in most of my watercolor videos, I'm just using one or two watercolor sets, but in this video, I'm gonna use three different sets. So to paint this, I'm gonna use the Langton paper texture, and it's not one that I've used in any of my videos that I can remember, but it's really worth mentioning because it has a cool look. And for the brushes, I'm gonna use the regular brush kit as well as the Galaxy brush kit, but I'm just using the Starry brush in the Galaxy brush kit, and I actually wanna give that to you guys for free, so there'll also be a link to that one in the description. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just select a blank layer underneath the LinkedIn paper texture, and then for the brush, I'm gonna use the new Aurora Quill brush. And I'm gonna choose a kind of dark, uh, pretty saturated blue color, and just make an interesting kind of uh, abstract wash for the sky. Now after that, I'm gonna use the water blender and just kind of smooth it out. And I'm gonna to try to go side to side because I wanna create this kind of uh, look of a night sky. There we go, that looks pretty good. And the edges are a little bit fuzzy and we can cut this out later, but it's kind of bothering me right now. So I wanna show you a uh, quick trick. Now, if I grab the arrow tool, I can move my uh, background wash off the edge. And if I deselect it and then grab the arrow tool again, it's just basically cut that off. And I'm just gonna go through and do all the sides like that. And now I can move on to doing the pine trees and I'm gonna make those on a different layer and I'm gonna use the quick pine brush and that's in the uh, Aquarelle bonus set and that's part of the regular brush kit. It's just in the extras and updates folder uh, and here it is, it's the quick pine brush and I'm just gonna go uh, at a sort of large size actually, just add a nice kind of line of palm trees at the bottom here. And usually I do the pine trees really close together but uh, for this technique, for this process, I gave, I sort of put an intentional kind of gap in between them uh, and then I'm gonna go and grab the water blender brush and make that a pretty large size. And I'm just gonna push up on the bottoms of these just so they look like they're kind of fading off into the mist. Just like that. And this layer I'm gonna set to multiply. Then I'm gonna lower the transparency just so you can kind of barely see them there. And then I'm gonna do another line of these pine trees so I'll make a new layer. I'm gonna grab the same quick pine brush and just do another layer here in the foreground. But these ones I'm gonna to try to make a little bit bigger. There we go, and I'll set that one to multiply as well. And then I'm gonna use that water blender again at the same large size and just sort of push up the bottom edge. And these ones ended up being a little bit sort of blue when I, when I want them to match the purple sky, so I'm gonna shift the hue. Now for the next step, uh, I want to add some stars, so I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to merge the three background layers just together onto one layer just to make it a little bit easier to deal with. And uh, now I'm going to move on to the Galaxy watercolor set. And this is the full Galaxy set with a lot of brushes, but uh, I'll put a link to the free one and it does have the responsive Star Flix brush, which is really the brush I want to use here. So I'm going to select that brush and I'm going to select pure white. Uh, and then I'm just going to add some kind of stars up there just kind of randomly. And in a few places it did go over my trees, which uh, is kind of okay, but it's also sort of breaks any of the realism. So I'm just gonna erase those in a few areas, but I'm gonna try to leave a few behind because it would happen uh, by accident if you were painting with real watercolor. And next, I wanna add a kind of uh, ombre effect in the sky. So I'm gonna open the layers panel and here's the layer with the stars. And then here's our background layer with the trees and the sky. I'm gonna make sure that layer is selected and I'm gonna grab the selection tool. I'm gonna set it to freehand. And I'm just gonna make a kind of random selection out here in the sky. And after that, I'll feather it out. And then I'll go to the uh, hue shifter and just shift the hue of that selection. And that just introduces uh, kind of an interesting color into the sky because otherwise it might be a little bit boring and monotone. And finishing up this scene, I'm gonna add those uh, shooting stars or comets and I'll just make those on a new layer. And I'm gonna make sure that's above these stars and I'm gonna go back to the regular brush kit and I'm gonna grab the fine liner pen and I'm just gonna draw some little circles where I want those to be, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab the water blender and at a, almost the largest size, I guess, um, maybe not quite the largest size, maybe around 70%. I'm just gonna sort of blur the edges of those and then pull them out until they kind of fade away. 
just like that. Then I'm gonna grab that fine liner pen again and add a smaller size. This time, I'm just gonna add a kind of point uh, on the very tip of those. And this scene is almost done. I just need to kind of crop it and kind of cut it down a little bit. So I'll go ahead and merge everything together onto one layer. And I'm gonna grab the selection tool and set it to rectangle. And I'm gonna to try to crop this scene and just make a selection that covers the uh, area that I want. I think something like that will work pretty good. Then I'm gonna to go to copy and paste. And it basically cut out that selection and pasted it again on another layer. So here's the original one and I can just turn that one off. And then what we're left with is just our selection, just that square shape that we drew. Now this could be done as it is, but I want to rough up the edge. And this is a process or a technique that I've covered in a previous video, but it's so simple. I'm just going to grab the eraser tool and I'm going to start at the corner and I'm going to draw a kind of erased line like that. And I'm going to hold the position at the end. And basically when you hold the position in Procreate, it will just straighten out that line and then let you kind of reposition it. And I'm just gonna sort of pull that along the edge just so it cuts off that super smooth razor sharp edge, and makes it a little bit rougher. So kind of rougher like this. Whereas before it had this kind of laser sharp edge like that. And I'm gonna go through and do the same process to the three remaining edges. And there we go, this one is all done. And uh, as you can see, it printed out really nicely. And I just love the look of that Langton paper texture. I know in most of my videos, I use the St. Petersburg texture, but it just, I feel like it looks better on the camera. And although you could do this painting on any of the textures, uh, I recommend giving the Langton a try because it has a really nice look. And that pretty much wraps it up. But as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.